Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to work with GPIOs. Uh, so far, we have learned how to configure our clock and how to create our system timer for our project. And whenever you want to work with GPIOs, uh, you should first enable the clock of that port. In order to do that, you should go to reference manual. Wrist and clock RCC registers and AHP1 enable register. Here you can see all the port GPIO A enable, B, etc. And I'm going to enable GPIO G, which is bit 6. Let's go to bit 6. Here, in order to enable the clock for GPIOG, you should put 1 and 6. Now, alright, let's do it. So, in order to enable the clock for BG, we should write RCC, H1 enable. Put 1 and bit 6 which is clock for port G enable and after that we should go to reference manual look for GPIO 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 registers the first one is mode register and here we should select the mode, input, output, alternate function, or analog mode. In this project, I'm going to turn on two LEDs. So in order to do that, they should be output. My pins are 13 and 14. So I should put 1 in 26 and 1 in 28. So let's do it. So for Output mode, we should write GPIOG mode one in twenty six and one in twenty eight. Yeah, all right, the next parameter would be. Uh, output type register you can make it push pull or open drain according to your project and uh, i don't need it right now next one would be uh, output speed register you can make it very high speed high speed medium speed or low speed and uh, i want it very high so i put one in 28 27 26 and 29 all these or it should be one. So GPI or G OS register one twenty six. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. This is for high speed. And all right, let's move this code here. The next parameter would be pull up and pull down. We don't need it. And input data, we don't need it as well because we are going to enable the LED. We need the output data register. And here we should put one in any port that we want to enable, which is 13 and 40. So let's go GPIOG ODR. One 
1 in 13 and 1 in 14 green LED red LED that's it let's build that And as you can see, no error, no value. And which means we are ready to load it on the wall. And as you can see, my LEDs are on, which means my project works successfully. Working with register is very easy. If you have any question, write them down in the comment section below. Have fun.